Hey friends and welcome back to Bloom Home and Garden. Today I have just a quick little transformation I wanted to share with you. I found this adorable little vintage desk and I wanted to give it a makeover to go with our newly made over master bedroom. So today I'm going to show you the desk and pretty soon I will have that reveal for the master bedroom. So please stay tuned for that. Click like, click subscribe and let's jump in. Looking here is our current situation. This is the desk that we currently have and it was part of my son's bedroom suite when he was young. He's now 37. He does not want it, but his son does. So I'm happy to pass it on. Here is a look at our little vintage desk that we found on Marketplace. And I'm so excited. This was definitely handmade, most likely by someone who had never really done woodworking before. So it has so much character to it. Here you can see that there is a lot of water damage on the top. The finish has turned that milky white when there's been water damage before. It has its share of dings and bings and scratches and I just think that that totally adds to the character. But it does need a little help. Uh, we have this one drawer and then there's a little slide out thing. It I'm not sure what it's for, but it's right here, and we're going to work on that. And you can see the knob for that is missing. We're going to see what we can do for knobs. And I'm just going to come in and give this little piece some love, so stay tuned and go through the process with me. First thing I'm going to do is give this a really good scrub down. It is important when you're working with this, if you're going to be doing sanding, which is what I'm going to be doing, you want to remove all fingerprints, all oil, anything that could be spilt on it or gummed up. It will really make you go through sandpaper quickly. It will gum up your sandpaper and sandpaper for my sander was in very short supply and I really had a hard time finding enough to do this project. So scrubbing it down is super important and that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to remove all the old fingerprints and oil and dust and dirt. Uh, obviously this little thing was in storage for a long time. It was pretty dirty and dusty. So that's what we're going to do first is go ahead and give it a good scrubbing. After it is washed and rinsed and dried, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding. Now I'm using 60 grid for this and it's all I could find for my sander. I had two pieces at home and I did end up ordering some on Amazon, but it was going to be a few days. But I do want to take a lot of this finish off so 60 is the right amount to use for this. Remember the lower the number, the harsher or coarser the paper the rougher the sand and the higher the number the more of a finishing sand it is. So I'm just going to dive in and get to sanding.
So these legs were obviously hand turned and they're not even really round. I think that is so cool and it had so much character. I am kind of softening off those little um, unrounded edges and just giving a little more rounding but not removing it so much that it is perfect because that is so part of the charm of this piece. I wanted to keep some of that. I think it is just so neat that someone took the time to build this and I always wonder about pieces like this that, you know, someone built this in shop class or did a dad build it for their child or what is the history in this? Now, for these pieces up here, as I said, they didn't have a lot of experience when they were cutting this wood and I don't want to take that away completely. I'm just kind of rounding off and softening up the edges so that things don't get caught on them because they were quite rough, but again, I'm leaving a lot of that charm. In these places where my sander wouldn't fit, I just took a regular 80 grit sandpaper and I'm just going the tops and bottoms and sides and just preparing, making sure there's no rough spots and just going where my sander wouldn't fit. Of course, the next step is to go in and remove all that sanding dust and prepare it for the next step. And I want this to get washed down and get all that dust out and then let it dry for a little while before I come in with my finishing touches. This is what I'm using. I'm back to that Felspar 2000 interior satin paint. This is in my all-time standby Cracked Pepper. If you've been around for a while, you know Cracked Pepper is all throughout our home. And this kind of lent a little bit of that rustic farmhouse, industrial farmhouse kind of look. Now. Obviously, it didn't take long before I realized that my brush didn't go back in these little cubbies. It was really challenging. I was getting paint everywhere. So I went ahead and cheated and used some spray paint. This is Fusion and it is in matte black. That made it so much easier. And as that dried, I was able to get in there and actually add a coat of paint for excellent coverage back there. As you can see as I'm painting right here that there are so many different kinds and styles of wood in this project. Obviously, they use what they had on hand and so it takes the paint so much differently in different areas. And I think that just really kind of lends to that farmhouse charm and that industrial farmhouse look so I wasn't really sweating that it took the paint different in different areas I kind of like that and it kind of given it that distressed look without even trying Thank you. 
in my hardware stash I actually found two matching drawer pulls and I thought this really pulled it together it was perfect for the decor in our room and perfect for this desk project I think you're gonna like them too Here is our project all finished. I love the way this turned out. I love the character that I left in this desk. It is so perfect. It fits our room so well with all of its little flaws and unique features. It is so perfect. I had such a great time working on this desk. I was so excited when I found it. And I just wanted to share, it doesn't take much at all to just take something that otherwise wouldn't have been used at all and just put a little time and effort into it to make it something wonderful. I hope you all enjoyed this project. I want you to stay to the end because I had walked by the perfect chair for this desk so many times in my home and after I had this all done at this point I went to put something away in the guest room and I seen the chair and so I brought it in and I want you to tell me what you think I think you're gonna love it so here is our before this is what this little piece looked like when we brought it home and the after is amazing thanks so much for being here today guys be blessed be safe and I'll see you soon